There was something weird I learned when practicing the random images event. Now this was the first time I went through all the images in this specific level, 300 images. I was so excited that I didn't even picture the last story. So I didn't even guess for that because I didn't really memorize it. But what I learned was the stories I was creating for all these different images in these rows were really quick, but not even really stories. For example, um, this one. So I picture the room, paper clips falling on a ladybug, and this guy was standing over the, the ladybug with a clock. That's it. Nothing really crazy, nothing really imaginative. And that was just like boom, boom, boom. So in real time, I was like, okay, living room, paper clips, ladybug, guy over her. That's it. Nothing really crazy or imaginative really there. But let's take um, this one. So I picture the scale and there was dynamite on it. It exploded, blood everywhere, and it hit this guy in the face. So that one was a little bit more creative and imaginative, but it was still pretty much the same tempo as the other story I just told you. And so what was amazing was I didn't really need a lot of time to create stories that stuck. Now, of course, if I try to you know, recall all, every single story from this session, I probably wouldn't be able to. But for what I needed, I was able to remember a majority of all these different images and stories I created. And so what's weird is your stories don't always have to be crazy and weird and unique. Very simple and straight to the point might work depending on your situation. Because I know I made a video I'm talking about you know, not making your story so simple, but this is competition information. But even with competition information, something so weird and simple where things are just kind of touching each other in my mind was you know, enough for me to recall it. Among you know, those five images, among 300, you, know, you would think I have a lot more trouble. That image, that story would just get lost or something, but it didn't. And that's what really surprised me when going through and actually seeing my score that, hey, you no, know, I was nine off from I'm going to the next level, but I was able to recall so many stories just because I just said, this happened, this, 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 that's it. These four images happened. And so some were more creative just because the images kind of lined up for, um, for the creativity. Others were just literally, things were just on top of each other and that was it. But somehow that was enough for me to remember even though some images did repeat like these cards uh, repeated quite a, quite a bit throughout the whole thing. And so I'm just kind of amazed by that and it's an interesting thing to kind of think about that. Man, I was able to remember so many images just with some very basic, and I mean very basic, like bare bone stories. And so I just wanted to share this with you because you know, I want you to keep keep that in mind depending on what you're learning and what you're trying to do with that information. You know, if you're trying to cram for a test you know, the day before or right before lunch that you have a vocab test, you know, you don't need these crazy wild stories. You can just make these very simple stories, boom, 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 and be good, you know? But you have to test for yourself if that works for you. And if you have to practice that skill more, because when I was increasing the levels, you know, I had so much time to picture all these stories in great detail, but now, you know, 300 plus, it's all going to be very quickly. Whatever comes to mind, that's what I have to roll with. Can't think about it. And so there might be the most simplest, boring stories ever, but it's going to be enough for me to actually recall the information. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.